Hi, I just wanted to share um, a uh, new project uh, that I just finished up that I'm really excited about. It's a lot different than anything I've been doing in the studio because it's like a utilitarian object. <laughs> um, and yeah, I uh, was inspired um, by um, my friend Jen. She is a plein air artist. And um, yeah, she had asked me, uh, so what kind of work are you doing for fun? <laughs> and I was like, and she knows about the work I do about like the immigration, um, immigrant refugee um, experience and history and war and things. <laughs> and when she asked me that, I was like, I don't know if I'm making it work for fun. Uh, Cause I, I don't, and I don't know when the last time I described art making as fun, like the process is enjoyable, the storytelling is necessary. Um, yeah, the search is fulfilling, uh, but I, I don't know when the last time I, I described it as fun. So anyway, um, she was so gracious as to uh, give me with this cigar box, so beautiful. So from here to here is a cigar box. And then you open it up and it has this image in it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And it was made in Honduras. So beautiful, right? <laughs> Sale only allowed in the United States. Um, yeah, so um, I decided to, I was like so inspired by um, the plein air artists and um, the um, impressionists and how their work was to capture light and beauty um and i'm so good at not leaving the house and i was like i need some light and beauty like sunshine on my face and this is like pre-covid i was i'm very good at not leaving the house i just get really um obsessive with my work just like in that search um so i thought if i could just make a box that i could use um, then it would inspire me to go outside and paint, um, paint beautiful things, <laughs> uh, you know, like sky and clouds and yeah. So, um, and I think I've maybe done a couple planar paintings in my life. So thank you, Jen, for the gift. Um, yeah. So I just want to share this with you. Um, so I want to show you my plans first. <laughs> This is a little, uh, yeah, so these are my plans. I don't realize how much I am like my parents until moments like this. My, both my parents are creative. My dad is extremely meticulous and my mom is an engineer. So like, these are just like all my notes and my math. Um, and then here's a second page. I actually use a lot more math than a normal person would just because my math ain't so great. <laughs> um, and so there's the design right there that I used. And I know that it would take, um, yeah, it would save me a lot more time if I use like the calculator. But I use math so seldomly. Um, yeah, like only when I'm <clears throat> building things or building frames or mapping out a gallery, trying to figure out where my work is going in the space. So that's like kind of, it might be one of the only times I use math. So when I do, I like to kind of like fight it out and yeah, just to practice, to use that part of my brain, <laughs> since I rarely do. So um, yeah, so the, the, the Poshad box is pretty much just like a to-go painting kit really is what it is. So all of these, um, this whole thing I made with just materials that were like lying around the studio. Um, so like the hinges, the buttons, and trying to find simple solutions on making things so that I didn't have to leave the house. <laughs> so I could stay in my cave. Um, so yeah, I made this brush holder here uh, with just like some string and like tied a bead. Uh, just to add some color. Um, this is fabric that I already had in my collection. Yeah, so this whole list of brushes and I just, I just ran it through the sewing machine 
um, with those vertical lines and then it helped separate the pockets so that I could keep the brushes um, separated. And then here's fabric that I inherited uh, from my wife, from my grandmother that I used um, just to keep her in mind. Um, yeah, and in heart. So yeah, this was like actually not a great design <laughs> just because normally the brushes would be, the slits would be this way and then you'd just be able to kind of like roll the brushes up. Uh, didn't realize that until like after, <laughs> after I finished it, but you know, it works. Um, so I'll just keep that aside. Okay, so the box. Um, so this is made of a, a belt, an old belt that I had that I grew out of, um, but I kept because just in case, <laughs> just in case I'd either fit it or just in case I could use it for something else, which obviously I like I didn't fit back into it, but I really loved it because it was like, I bought it at a thrift store a long time ago and it's like this beautiful red violet um, with this texture here. Yeah, I really loved it. So I just used these D-rings and so this is kind of crazy. I don't know how this happened here because originally I had a key ring connecting these two and then I don't even know how it happened, but it locked itself in. This is like impossible. Like, how did it do that? Like this can't, <laughs> it's like one of those metal puzzles. I don't know if you've played with one of those where you just kind of, yeah, it's like, it's like that. So um, yeah, the belt and then all the, um, like the hinge I had, the buttons, this is just pretty much twine. Um, or it's like hemp, yeah, it's like hemp twine that I had. Um, and then I just kind of sewed the buttons into this uh, fun teal vinyl um, too. Okay, so then it would open, and then these, so the holders of the brushes are actually made of hair ties that broke. <laughs> okay, so it opens up like this. Hi! This is a little Vietnamese green finch um, that was actually in one of my paintings. I actually just printed it out and then cut it out and then decoupaged it on. And I used this really cheap wood because again, it's just like what I had. So it's like some kind of like really light paneling. Um, so when I screwed the hinge, um, it poked right through and these um, screw tips are super sharp. So I ended up just like, gluing some buttons on there and then adding glue to the tips so it, I wouldn't cut my finger on it. And then um, the bird ended up fitting like perfectly, just like kind of wrapping itself onto the buttons, which I love. I love those serendipitous moments um, in the creative process. Um, yeah, excited about it. So, okay, so this box opens up and then there's, these are the panels that I've been, I gesso and um, work on. And so there's like a shelving unit here, um, like a drying rack almost. Um, and then I, this box pulls out. And so it's like all my paints. There's like these jars. So these are acrylics, um, but I uh, might be painting in oil. Um, so this would be for like the linseed, um, the linseed and the um, mineral spirits. Okay, so then it opens up like this. I like this too, because when it opens up, the bird kind of hangs upside down, <laughs> which is kind of fun. So, okay, so it opens up like this. Okay, um, a rag. Okay, so, um, I took the panels, yeah, that's what this cheap wood does, <laughs> it just kind of like rips it off, um, but what I did was I took um, a drill and just drilled all these different size holes for, to hold the brushes, and then ran a jigsaw um, through this to kind of hold the solvent, so it would go like this, um, here's the second panel, which is just a tray for extra counter space. And then there's a, 
there's actually um this is a palette here um that i would use i just made it so that i could take it out and wash it but it would stay in this box um so there's like extra counter space for like paints these would go in here um and oh so i made these out of these spice jars that i had had for a while and then I just took rope and gorilla glued them around, um, measured it, and then just glued them around so that they kind of float. So when this is on a tripod, it'll just kind of stay in place. Um, yeah, I love. I really enjoy building stuff. I need, need to do more of these. Um, yeah, I just like enjoy the planning because the planning takes so long um but then you know the making of it is just like watching all these numbers become an object <laughs> it's so cool uh yeah um so yeah I, I enjoy that engineering so yeah this is uh this is the setup Ta -da! I love yeah really excited about this thank you so much Shen. uh for starting all this and I, I just felt like this would um, just like get me outside, <laughs> get me outside um, and make work in the sunshine. So yeah, um, okay, so then I would just kind of put this away. Oh yeah, they have to like go a certain, just small. If I was going to use oils, these would actually be like a lot, uh, a lot smaller, um, these little tubes. Um, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so then the brushes go back in here. Yeah, um, another thing um that i kind of planned for was um so this shelf only holds two panels um but uh if i was to work on this painting and it was not yet dry um that's why i'm like kind of back and forth with paint with oils and acrylics because acrylics will dry really quickly and it'll make it easier but Nothing feels like oil. <laughs> like the viscosity of it is like um, it's delicious. So um, I kind of made these little, like two little grooves right here, so that should I need to need extra space and want to keep this in the box before I close it, then I could just kind of like wrap this string around it and like hold it here. It's just all I did was use an eye an eye hook like an eye screw so really simple solutions with what i had and it's like yeah um i had a friend tease me once and was like you have such a refugee mentality because i'll use like every everything like what not waste not but i think a big part of that is actually um not you know uh challenging myself to Oh, I guess it doesn't stay in because the screws, these screws don't allow this to stay. Yeah, it's too wide. Okay, so that doesn't work. Oh, math. <laughs> so then this goes in here. Yeah, so like challenging um, my creativity to figure out how to use things that I already have. I really enjoy that. It's like, it's like a puzzle within itself, right? So because I was using like all the things that were available to me, I didn't purchase like a, a clasp. I didn't have a clasp or anything. This kind of stays really nicely, but just for extra um, reinforcement, I made this little, like uh, this little flap. And then just with buttons that I already had, I just sewed them onto this fabric and, you know, using the hemp to kind of um, 
cord to just kind of tie it around. Like again, simple solutions. Um, and then the paint brush holder. The paint brush holder goes in the hair ties. Yep. Oh, in the rag. This goes in the box, but we can stick it in here too. And because these are like um, elastic, I mean, I could hold like extra painting um, supports in it too. So then, yeah, we just skip on down. I just skip on down to the beach and do some painting. Um, but yeah, I was just like really excited about the idea of like going out, finding a little corner, like, you know, at the beach or just like in an alleyway or <laughs> wherever, uh, just to be painting outside in sunshine. So uh, thank you, Jen. And um, yeah, thanks y'all. Just wanted to share with you um, the latest project. <laughs> Bye, get outside and make some art.